morning. Today is Thursday, October 27th, C Day. I'm Sabrina Rayfeld. And I'm Nico Corderoni. And this is Kennedy Live. Now for school announcements. There will be a debate club meeting in room 101 after school today. The topic will be Should You Have to Stand for the National Anthem? Mm -hmm. Attention, it is that time of the year again. Time to try your hand at becoming a published author. We are currently accepting submissions for the new edition of On My Mind. This book gives high school students a chance to express those thoughts that might otherwise go unspoken. The topics range from humorous and lighthearted to sad and gut-wrenching. It contains writings from both suburban and inner city high school students. All work must be submitted no later than December 1st. It must be emailed as a Microsoft Word document attachment to cmorris at kennedycatholic.org. There is a 1,000 word limit. Please see Ms. Morris if you have any questions. Girls, please note that if the temperature is 50 degrees or higher, we will be going outside for gym class. Bring your sweats to school, or better yet, keep them in your locker. Our saint of the day is Blessed Bartholomew of Vicenza. This was a man who used his skills as a preacher to challenge the heresies of this day. Bartholomew was born in Vicenza around 1200. At 20, he entered the Dominicans. Following his ordination, he served in various leadership positions. As a young priest, he founded a military order whose purpose was to keep civil peace in towns throughout Italy. In 1248, Bartholomew was appointed a bishop. For most men, such an appointment is an honor and a tribute to their holiness and their demonstrated leadership skills. In world and local news, the head of the CDC says that current technology can't really control the Zika virus and other diseases spread by Zika infected mosquitoes. Zika can cause harmful birth defects in babies born to infected women while pregnant. CDC Director Thomas Frieden believes the best, cause, best case scenario for finding a vaccine for Zika is two to three years away. He says funding for developing a vaccine is limited and believes a massive influx of funds to develop a vaccine is the only way we'll reach the three-year goal. <clears throat> now to Connor. Good morning. I'm Connor Buckley with This Day in History. In 1787, the first of the Federalist Papers were published in the New York Independent. The series of 85 essays written by Alexander Hamilton, James Madison, and John Jay were published under the pen name Publius. In 1858, Roland Macy opened Macy's Department Store in New York City. It was Macy's eighth business adventure, the other seventh failed. In 1904, the New York subway system officially opened. It was the first rapid transit subway system in America. And in 1962, the Soviet Union adds to the Cuban Missile Crisis by calling for the dismantling of U.S. missile bases in Turkey. U.S. President Kennedy agreed to the new aspect of the agreement. That's all for this day in history. Now back over to the anchors. Researchers say that women work more days per year than men, on average 39 days more. That adds up to about 50 minutes per day. The information from the World Economic Forum's Global Gender Gap Report says this is a troublesome, as there is also... Also, a recent slowdown in the pay gap between men and women workers. They say with the current trend, it will be another 170 years before the pay gap is reached. The secret to a long life might reside in your herb garden. Researchers say residents in a certain area of Italy use rosemary in almost every dish, and many live to 100 or older. The Cleveland Clinic says there are real benefits from rosemary and the essential oils it contains. They say rosemary has heart benefits, helps with other age-related diseases, and may improve brain function. And now over to sports with Mirage. Good morning, Kennedy Catholic Sports Nation. I'm Raj Patel with your sports, and I'm here with my Gale of the Week, Lauren Walter, who will be telling us about the girls' soccer win yesterday. Um, girls' soccer beat Notre Dame Academy 3-0. Grace Kennedy had two goals and Deirdre Kakasko with one goal. Um, we'll be playing St. Joseph's by the Sea uh, Saturday in Staten Island. Thanks, Lauren. And in the NBA, the Pelicans lost to the Nuggets 107 to 102. Anthony Davis had 50 points, 16 rebounds, 7 steals, and 4 blocks in his opening day. The Raptors beat the Pistons 109 to 91. DeMar DeRozan had 41 points in the win. The girls beat St. Catharines in straight sets. They remain undefeated and look to end the season 16 and 0 with their final home game Friday night against the Quines. In girls basketball, they'll be having an open gym today from 5 to 7. So any girls interested in playing this season, please attend. And in the major leagues. Cubs beat Indians 5 to 1. Jake Arrieta pitched a solid five innings in the win. The series is now tied 1-1. For anyone that's in the John Stamos Cooking Club, be sure to attend their meeting during homeroom. 
Well, that's all for sports. Back to the anchors. Well, I'm Sabrina Ray Phelps. And I'm Nico Corderoni. And this has been Kennedy Live. Have a great day. <laughs>